today I'm going to show you a couple of free ways to create lost and found QR code labels that you can attach to your valuable items so that if you lose any of them, anyone can scan it with a camera phone and get your contact information and then be able to message you, call you, or send you a text. First way to generate uh, lost and found QR code labels for your items is to go on a traditional QR code website and uh, this I'm using QR code chimp here as an example it's a great tool and instead of the def default information you're gonna or default uh, text which is a URL you want a V card which is basically a contact card for your information and you're gonna select that one and then click um, type your name uh, your mobile number and your email now that information here as you see like the QR code is changing to reflect that information and you can here it's a nice tool because you can uh, change actually the the design you can put uh, you can create QR shapes that are square or hard shapes or hexagon you can put stickers on them you can choose from pre-designed pre ones and it will reflect on your design here and then you can uh, download it and print it and once you download it, you can uh, cut it and place it on your items. The only drawback for this is that the QR code is static, which means anytime you want to change the contact information on your items, let's say you're traveling and you want to uh, have a different number where you're going to be reached at your destination, you have to go in, do the same thing again with this number and change it to whatever number you're going to be staying at. and reprint and reattach all those QR codes to your items that you're traveling with. There's actually a faster and better solution. Let me show you. The second way to generate lost and found QR code labels for your items actually through a QR code generator that's specially designed for that specific use case. So this is called PingTag and the website is mypingtag.com. And what it does is like it allows you to generate and attach dynamic QR codes to your items so you can update all the information on them at once if you're traveling and you can choose what to hide and show depending on the situation. Let's say you want to hide your phone number and only show your email but change it later to show your phone number and hide the email. That's also flexibility uh, available in the tool and it's it's free. So and it has a premium version that allows you actually to hide your contact information while allowing people to send you text and reply to them dynamically and uh, anonymously through SMS without revealing your identity or contact information. But for the sake of this demo, I'm going to show you the free version, which is free forever. You're going to sign up for free. Create an account here, John. And I'm going to sign up. And it's going to ask me for my phone number. So I'm going to put a phone number here. And traffic lights, avoiding spam. That's fine. And then I'm going to click continue. And I'm going to create a new QR tag. And here I can create one for my car because a lot of people attach actually those QR codes on the windshield so that if the car is causing trouble blocking someone or uh, about to get a ticket, people can scan it to contact them. But I'm going to create something for, um, let's say, my camera, John's camera. And I'm the default contact on it. And um, as you can see, there are premium features like getting instant scan alerts when someone scans the code with the geolocation, adding privacy, customizing the landing page. But I'm going to keep it simple here and create a QR code for the camera. And there's the QR code. So uh, what I can do is I can click to preview the page that shows here by default. And as you can see, it's asking for my location. I'm gonna, not going to allow it for now, but this is what shows when someone wants to, uh, like when someone scans the QR code to contact you. And as you can see, you can actually go here and edit and like even if you want to hide your phone, you can go and hide your phone and it instantly hides from that page. You can update your phone here. If I go and edit and I type here and I click here and type change my phone number to 980-765-4321 and continue. Done. And then I show my phone here and I save it 
immediately uh, updates my phone number on that page without having to do anything else. And the QR code will link to whatever updated page. So let me show you next how to download the QR code, add it to a design, and then print it and attach it to something. To print this tag, I have one of two options. First, I'm gonna download the QR code for this tag. It's downloaded. And then I'm gonna click on print. The first option is to use Canva. And Canva has a free forever uh, uh, tier that you can use. Uh, for example, if I click on a wallet or luggage tag, I can see here that I can have a, uh, you can use this template as the size of a business card. So you can basically put it in your wallet or in your luggage tag, place the QR code you just downloaded here in the Canva tool and then print it. And it's a perfect size for, uh, you know, common size cards. The second option is to actually print it directly on ping tag. And this is the QR code for that specific um, tag that you created. So if I, uh, if I want to print this one, you can customize also the language on the tag. And if I click on print, and now all I need is to print this square code and attach it to one of my items. I can do it on a regular A4 paper and attach it with uh, scotch tape, but I'm gonna show you a better way to do it. So I'm gonna go on Amazon and search for adhesive, probably not bra, um, probably adhesive vinyl sheets, printable white. So it's gonna give me a lot of options that I can uh, I can use to print. This is the one I normally use. So basically it's a letter size adhesive sheet. It's not cut. So you basically you print on that sheet and you cut it with scissors and you attach it. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. And all your lost and found QR labels are uh, all situated in one easy to use dashboard. Each of them is unique so that if, for example, someone uh, takes a photo of your QR code or gets shared on social media accidentally, you can go in and delete that tag. And when someone scans the QR code, it won't show your contact information there anymore.